Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make classic fried kebab, kebab meliya, kebab balls, or whatever you wanna call them. No matter how you say it or pronounce it, there is no debating this is one of the most delicious foods ever invented. And by the way, this will crush the competition at any super buffet. We're gonna make it the easy way without a machine, so you don't need electricity and without flour. It's the Middle Eastern star and the national dish of Syria and most of the Arabic countries as well. It's also so popular in Turkey and has so many versions all over the world. So if you're into that kind of thing, pay me your attention. And before we get started, show me some love and give me a thumb up. I would like to thank all of you for all the support you're giving me. So fried kebab actually has two parts, the filling and the dough. We're gonna start with the dough first because it needs time to rest. We start by adding two cups of bulgur along with two cups of semolina to a large bowl. And now we're gonna mix them together, the bulgur with the semolina very well with a big spoon. Now for this amount uh, of bulgur and semolina, I need three cups of hot water. So first of all, I'm gonna take two and a half cups using the same cups that I used to measure the bulgur and the semolina, two uh, and a half cup of hot water, very hot. Then we're gonna mix them very well in order for every grain of bulgur to, to absorb the hot water very well. And now I'm gonna add the rest of the hot water, which is about half a cup, to the dough, but without mixing. We're just gonna put it on top of the dough, and then we're gonna close it with a plastic wrap. And then we're gonna set it aside in room temperature for two hours in order to rest. Meanwhile, we're gonna prepare for the filling. So the first ingredient we need is onion. Take about four medium-sized onions and chop them finely. You can use a food processor here if you want. And then I got my walnuts here. I'm gonna take about two handfuls. I'm gonna use my mortar and vessel to crush the walnuts into small pieces. There's a couple handfuls in there, so that's basically about two servings of walnuts in there. You wanna leave, uh, let the vessel uh, do most of the work by letting its own weight come down uh, on walnuts. And by the way, this is optional. You can add it and you can take it away if you don't like it. It's a matter of personal preference. So in a nice big pot, I'm gonna add the onions on medium heat until soft and translucent. Four onions are not so much because they're gonna shrink down significantly when caramelized. Now we're gonna add the seasoning, a sprinkle of salt, about one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. The salt will draw out the moisture, so as they cook, they will get soft and then juicy. So always test uh, when you cook, test and adjust for seasoning, add some seasoning if needed. Now it's time for the meat. So I'm gonna add about 500 gram of meat. We're gonna mix it with the onion. So take a very big spoon and mix this very thoroughly. Very, very thoroughly. Last but not least, I'm gonna add the walnuts that we crushed together. And as I've said, this is optional. If you don't like it, don't add it. After two hours, exactly two hours of being soaked in water, now we're gonna peel and grate one onion with a hand grater or a food processor. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of black pepper, along with one tablespoon of uh, chili pepper powder. We're gonna mix that very well. And then we need to uh, give it a decent time of kneading. It needs a lot of kneading. We have to knead at least 10 minutes in order to get a cohesive dough. Now I'm gonna stop the camera, take the ball to the floor and start kneading it. It's not working with one hand, so you need to use the two of your hands with all of your power. And if you have, uh, if you have your father or your brother, and who can help you. You need the strength, of course, um, actually. So if they are there at home, just let them do this mission and relax. Now it's time to shave the kippeh. So in a small boat, I put water, cold water, with one tablespoon of cornstarch and a pinch of salt. And we have the meat mixture there. It was ground beef meat. And here, the, the dough. 
which I kneaded for 10 minutes like this and look at this it became so soft as if you made it with a machine it's so soft and so uh, easy to to be shaped now we're, now we're gonna start shaping it like balls you can shape it in the way you like it's optional I took a piece of the dough made it like a ball and start opening it with the tip of your fingers like that and now fill it with the amount you like and then close it and make it in the shape of a fig from both sides we have to smooth it with our hands with a little bit of the water mixture that we made and here we go that's what you're looking for I'm gonna make with you another one just to see the way exactly first of all take a little portion of the dough the amount you like if you want it big or small it's up to you now make your hands wet with a little bit of the water mixture that we did then open it with the tip of your fingers in the way shown in the video then fill it with the amount you like i uh, i made it a medium size actually and then close it from both sides i may and make it in the shape of a fig if you want it to be ball you just leave it as it is if you want it in this shape you can make it and you can smooth it a little bit with a round shape with your with the both of your hands in the original recipe they put meat inside the dough here we didn't put any meat inside the dough we put only in the filling so it's so economic and so easy to be done with this amount of meat you can make the most delicious dish ever for your family with this amount of filling and the amount of the dough made me about 38 pieces of kibbeh at this point you can freeze them so if you don't want to go through this process very often and it's so much on you take a little bit and freeze the rest so you can use them another time next is frying but before you put the pieces in the oil just make sure that you enclose the filling probably so it doesn't leak in the oil and mess up the entire thing you put three to four pieces at a time you don't put a lot and speaking of frying that is gonna be the last step we're gonna deep fry these in very hot oil for about two to three minutes leave it without moving and um, after one minute or about halfway through that time you can move it i like to give it a little jiggle and a little wiggle just in case look at the color and the shape i can guarantee this way for you it's 100 percent successful it's not gonna fall apart it's just fabulous leave it until it takes the golden color and becomes crispy from the outside And that's it. What we're calling kibbe is done. Or is it that we are done? I'm not sure. But either way, I'm ready to try. So let me go ahead, grab one base and go in for a test. I guess you should let them cool a minute or so, but I didn't. I served mine immediately with a little bit of lemon juice. Look at the shape. Look at the feeling. It's totally amazing. And if I showed you how to make that, I can't remember. Anyway, you're gonna squeeze and you're gonna bite and I'm pretty sure have your mind blown. They are golden brown crispy on the outside and hot moist and delicious on the inside and when I say crispy I really mean it. The texture will play between crunchy outside and that soft tender moist inside is almost beyond description and that my friends really was amazing right not only do these look amazing and taste delicious but most importantly when it comes to party food they are extremely fun to eat i do hope you give this a try soon thanks for watching be sure to check out my channel where you can find more recipes it's a restaurant quality recipe you can easily make at home you can find the full written recipe in the description box below and if you liked my video please make sure to subscribe like follow and share so you can help me get more people to reach my channel see you later